Hey, what's up, K-Stars? It's your girl, Kristen, and we are back, y'all, with another video. So today is actually Super Bowl Sunday. So welcome to the video. Obviously, you're gonna see this after the day is over, but I still hope that you enjoy it nonetheless. And with no further ado, let's go ahead and get into it so we can start to partake in this absolutely beautiful cold. <laughs> it's very cold, it's frigid. It's like 14 degrees right now here in Indiana, but it's a beautiful day nonetheless, and we're about to get into it. <laughs> I've got 30 minutes if you want to spill your mind Give me all your reasons to why I should take my time Used to have forever but you never cared that much Just tell me why You don't burn the whole Buffalo potato chicken. I don't know the real name for it. Okay, my love. Will you foil the pan? The things I'm going to ask you for help from are very simple, nothing complicated. I will handle the, the grunt work. So we're making buffalo chicken with potatoes. I don't know the proper name, but it's so delicious. So we've got our potatoes. Mm. Potatoes right here. And... We have, what else we got? Wait, y'all gonna come over here with me. Brian was gracious enough to pick up the food and then I'm doing chili as well. Hey, so we got our ground beef for the chili, jalapeno, guacamole, bacon. This is for the potatoes. Maybe I should put all the potato stuff over here. Half and half, what is this for? I forgot what this is for. Oh, I'm making, um. <laughs> I'm making too many things today, you guys. We're doing spinach dip, so I've half and, I was supposed to get whipping cream, but they only had a half and half. Organic green onions. This goes over the top of the potatoes when we're done. Bell pepper for the chili. Cream cheese for the spinach dip. Sour cream for the potatoes. Cornbread also, <laughs> because Tania was so gracious enough to give me ideas. I was like, what should I get to go with the chili? So we're doing cornbread, and then I also got some, um, some trusty premium saltine crackers. Hey you guys, the water is going because I needed to frost my chicken, but I have a question for you. What did you guys cook for Super Bowl Sunday? I want to know because I feel like there's so many things you can do on Super Bowl Sunday. So many like great, great meals and this is what we decided to do just because this is stuff I was craving yesterday when I was so hungry, but I feel like you can go in so many different directions with Super Bowl Sunday. I could say I was finally over you Hey y'all, you can't tell me mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love the Playing the potatoes Figured I could talk to you guys while I peel these potatoes I haven't pote peeled potatoes in so long I talked to you guys before about cutting my hair And I definitely think I'm starting to get an even stronger urge to cut my hair shorter because I feel like I would enjoy having a short hairstyle that I can style and actually have like a style. Like right now I just feel like my hair is just the length that it is and I wear it with product and I'll try to style it but I don't really feel like it is just giving like a style and I definitely think if I had a short haircut I could have like a cute little style. Something that I could definitely vibe with, rock with and then even still play with wigs and different looks and switch my looks up and I just I don't know I am like getting a stronger urge to do it because I definitely think shortcuts are so um, what's the word I want to use just they have a lot of character to them and I was thinking back to Amber Rose and I have to admit you guys I did read her book and one thing she said in her book was that when she cut her hair it was like she finally got her big break because the look was just such a signature look for her and I just wonder if for me like short hair might actually be a whole vibe for myself. It just reminds me like when I was short the first time and I went and did the big chop. I really really liked the whole look. It was so easy to take care of and to style my hair every day. 
I just enjoyed it a lot. And I think that when I, my hair was short the first time, I did not like focus on cutting my hair into styles. And once I cut it the first big chop, I didn't really go and get like, like I'd get my hair trimmed, but I didn't really cut it into styles. Like someone who has short hair and would continue to cut their hair short to maintain it being short. Like I just didn't do that. I'm really considering more and more doing it and just going ahead and jumping because I would rather do it now while my hair, you know, can grow out and I can still, if I want to go long again, do that. But I think as I get older, I'm probably going to be more likely to want my hair to be short. So it's almost like do it now and if I want to go long again, I can, but I don't have to feel like I, I got to stay short if I go short right now. So we'll see. I don't know y'all. It has been something though that's kind of been on my heart now for months, which I'm glad again because y'all know I've shared with you before. I can be very impulsive and I'm just glad that I haven't jumped in <laughs> and cut my hair on impulse and then regretted it. Because I definitely want to be super sure when I do it that that's what I really, really want to do. Someone save me for a pass out. I'm too lonely to be done on my drink at this page. Yeah. Why am I the only one who's left in a rain with nobody to hold on to? Ooh. Why am I the only one who's feeling this pain when there should be two of us? So for the chili, I cut up one jalapeno, one green pepper, and one onion and added it to the bowl. I did not use all of the green pepper. I probably used like three fourths of the green pepper and most of the onion as well. But I just wanted to make sure I broke that down for you guys so when you were trying to do this for yourself, you weren't intimidated by it because the gentleman I got this recipe from, he does not break that down. So I also used cayenne pepper. So we're gonna put some cayenne pepper in there, some chili powder, some garlic powder as well, and then some cumin, and you are going to add this to your pot. Now don't go too heavy handed with the cumin because you don't want it to be too potent. However, like I said, you put the garlic in there, you're gonna get kind of like a paste, and then I added the whole container of beef stock. He did not. So because I saw when he cooked his ground beef, he only had a little bit of the sauce, I just took a couple ladles of that, added it to my skillet, and then put, this is three whole pounds of ground beef. I wanted mine to have a lot of ground beef. He did also not tell us how much ground beef to do, so I did three pounds. So we went ahead, we cooked it. Instead of straining the grease off, I just scooped it out with a, a spoon that had the strainer, and then we added our kidney beans, I strained those, and then our tomatoes and the tomato sauce. So basically the sauce you, or your spaghetti sauce. And then I put the guacamole, because he used guacamole. I will say, you cannot taste the guacamole, so it was good, okay? And then we let it simmer. Hey guys, it's been a minute since I talked to you, but I want to taste the chili that I've been making for the last hour or so and just see what it tastes like. So Brian, I have called you down here to see if you can taste the chili, if that's okay. Is that cool with you? Yes, that's okay. Okay. So let me get a... Okay, we have a spoon. Okay, wait, I want y'all to see this. So here's the spoon. Oh, it's good, it's hot though. You gonna have to blow this. Wait, you gotta come in the frame. You're probably taller than the frame. because It's I have pretty amazing. It's good? Hey, he said it's good. It's not spicy, spicy though. But it is a little spicy, huh? It's Definitely good to me. Good. I think. Do you, I just think we need to cook down the sauce a little bit because I have a lot of sauce. Yeah, you probably gotta let it steam for a few. We're gonna let it cook down for a little bit, but it is a little spicy. I think that spicy tomato sauce that he recommended is what's giving it a little bit of a kick. In addition to the cayenne, the cayenne also gives you the spice, the kick that you know we're getting right now. The potatoes, though, you guys. I was on the phone and I forgot my potatoes were in the oven, so. They're a little bit, um, let me show you. They're a little bit dark. Yeah, they're a little bit dark, you guys. So you can kind of see, but I don't think you can mess up potatoes. They're still good. Mmm. They actually really good. That hot sauce, you can taste it. I have the recipe links for this 
And then for Neem, so it's I think it's N I E made it. His YouTube, TikTok, everything. Check him out. His recipes are really good. My current macaroni and cheese recipe that I've been making is from his TikTok. That's how I found him. So this chili, this is where we got it from. We got it from his TikTok. So y'all definitely go let him know that Kristen tried his recipe, let you guys know about it, and I loved it. Bon appetit. But let me try this chili for myself, see if Ryan is capping. You know, we're gonna see if it's good from Kristen's perspective. I got a spoon for myself now. That's really good. <laughs> That is really good. <laughs> Y'all. Mmm. That is really good. You could do crackers with that. I'm about to do my uh, cornbread. That is delicious. Oh my gosh. He did a good job with that. I'm going to check it back in with you guys in a minute. But the chili is delicious. but I hope that's okay for a minute <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get out some crackers if I can get this box open the chili looks bomb though you guys like it looks so good Give me some crackers y'all this chili is so good Mm. it's so good I'm definitely going to be making chili again and again <laughs> mm. and it was so easy to make Brian yeah. will you come here babe you got to make a bowl oh, no. right now. just a little bit and then put some cheese on top you said you weren't going to eat right now why? You could probably turn it off, to be honest. And then put a little cheese on top. You don't gotta do a lot, just a little. Yeah, this chili, this chili is really, really good. He definitely did his thing. Like, I have never made chili until now. And I honestly thought it was more complicated than this, but I've let it cook for, I think it's been on for a little bit over an hour and it's really, really good. I just let it simmer on low for as long as it's been on. Basically to cook off a little bit of the extra sauce because I added, I think, more sauce than he added with the, um, the tomato, with the tomato sauce and like I put all of the chick, the beef stock in it. So I don't think he added all the beef stock, but overall it's delicious. Fun. Cause that's where I have to watch the game. Why can't we just pop it up here? Cause it can't stream to the TV. What do you mean? It has to stream from my phone to the TV. How, what else is it? What is it on? Uh, CBS Sports app. That's not an app we can download from Comcast? No. Oh, they say B means they good for your heart. You said what? You said B means they good for your heart, but the more you the more you fart. But the more you fart, the better you feel. So you're supposed <laughs> to eat your beans at every meal. That's all I'm saying. That's on Jack and Jill. That's on Mary Had a Little Lamb. Oh, I thought you were going to sing us Mother Goose right now. Oh, no, but nope, I'm cool. Because you, you, it's been on that. Are you ready right now? You said you was going to have it. It was baller alert. He said, ma'am, the way they didn't censure that or nothing, I did not know that was about to be said. <laughs> nothing you say like, makes it better. Wrecking mm -hmm. ball, tear apart, issues left behind, restart. Nothing you say makes it better.
all thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end you are the real MVP and secondly I will have instructions written out in the description box so you can copy and paste it screenshot whatever you do and be able to do these recipes for yourself and I will have a link to this recipe so you can actually go to the website it's from and remake it because this is not my recipe and I will also link the gentleman I was telling you guys about earlier so you can go to his TikTok and his YouTube channel and check him out all his recipes look delicious and the ones I've tried so far are definitely as good as they look so thank you guys again for checking for me for rocking with me if you're new subscribe and with that I will see you guys in my next upload so stay tuned for our next weekly vlog on Friday Give me the